right guys today we're gonna be reacting to budget friendly dinner German eggs and mustard and sauce mm, 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 mm. again this video is from one one of you guys from my discord make sure you're part of the community links in the description we headed to 10,000 subscribers let's jump in this German recipe for senf eier eggs and mustard sauce is right from my Oma's cookbook and it's a family favorite since generations. The simple dish is very popular in Germany as it is very budget friendly and easy and fast to make with just a few ingredients that you probably already have at home. For this recipe you will need butter, yellow mustard, a pinch of sugar, flour, salt and pepper. Sugar, you, you, hmm. so sugar, why sugar? Why sugar? I, I just don't get it. Eggs and sugar doesn't mix. Eggs with sugar does not mix. Eggs, think about it. You're gonna eat an egg, but you put in sugar. Heavy cream, chicken broth, and milk. As always, you can find the printable recipe below this video in the description. Start with bringing water to a boil in a large pot or use your preferred way to prepare hard boiled eggs. Many years I pierced holes into my eggs before cooking them, but I find that it doesn't really make a big difference. But what really makes a difference in case if an egg cracks is to add a little bit of vinegar to the cooking water. This makes the egg white stock faster and you will have oh, less... Oh, I didn't know that trick. So you put vinegar and that will give... That will not give it, or that will make the egg cook faster. I didn't know that, huh? It's egg white floating in the pot. I personally like my eggs semi hard boiled, but you can cook them your preferred way. If you need some guidance on how many minutes you need to cook your eggs, you can find the information in the blog post. In this video, I cooked my large eggs for 10 minutes before I doused them with cold water and set them aside. I like to start boiling my potatoes before I make the mustard gravy, because everything goes real fast. While the potatoes are cooking, melt the butter the in a medium-sized saucepan, then sprinkle in the flour and a pinch of sugar and mix everything well. Make sure to stir constantly for about 5 minutes until the butter flour mixture lightly browns. Yeah, 5 minutes, that, that's a long time. Just to have that color, I think less than that we should... We... We'll do it at least three, right? Three minutes. You should give that. You should get that color by three minutes. I don't think you should have to stir it for five minutes. Which is called a blonde roux. Then add the chicken broth and oh. the milk to the roux and cook on medium heat until the sauce thickens. Make sure to stir constantly to make sure oh. that the sauce doesn't burn. Okay. Then remove your pot from the heat before you add the heavy cream, salt and pepper and the mustard. Oh. Mix everything until it's well combined. So she only put like a little pinch of mustard. She didn't put a lot. Only a pinch of mustard. But then she called it mustard sauce. Hmm. The heavy cream is optional, something? but I tell you it really adds the special note to this. Make a taste test and decide if you would like to use a bit more mustard. Our family likes an intense mustard flavor, so I use usually about 14 tablespoons instead of the 10 tablespoons that the printed recipe calls for. To serve, place the eggs either into the sauce to reheat them, or if they are still warm, just ladle generously the delicious sauce over them. Serve with boiled or mashed potatoes. And there it is, a good old German comfort food dish. Wow. Guten Appetit. Ah, oh, danke. Danke. Danke, danke. Sehr gut lecker. Lecker. Very good. Like. 
Very good. That's very nice. Very nice. There's more. But she's still like putting the thingies. Very good, very nice. I mean, I, I was a little bit like, woohoo. That was nice. That was not very good. Very simple, very easy to make, actually. I, I thought she was going to take a little bit of time, but no, that, that was rather quick. I mean, there's a lot of these kind of videos. That's crazy, right? <sighs> Let me see if she has like a the recipe here. Printable recipe. Okay, so good and tack. I'm Angela. Guten Tag, Angela. Ich bin American. Ich bin Pablo. This recipe, okay, let's see. Uh huh. Let's see what she has here. Okay. Oh, she, oh, let's see. You know, she's one of the few that I have seen that she had the recipes in her bio. Which is very good, actually. Might have to take a take a look and see. Uh, my mom used to make all uh, make these all the time when we were little. First time I have seen this delicious recipe. Cannot wait to try it. Me too. That was very nice. So basically, what you do, you just take a couple. This German. A couple of eggs. Any eggs, I, I guess, and just boil them. And then you do that mix, which is very very easy to make. Now my question is it can be any kind of master. It doesn't have to be one master in particular. I don't think she really um emphasized any particular master brand. So I'm I'm guessing this is just any master. Um very good for a nice breakfast. Very healthy by the way, very low in carb. I would just for my taste I would just uh, eliminate the potatoes. Uh you know, I'm just trying to cut the carb but if I was with the family, I would just boil. Uh, I would just be simply boil the eggs and the potatoes, right? And with potato with the skin. I eat my potatoes with skin, so I will put them and then just make that sauce and start eating. Start eating. Oh, that's not not bad, not bad at all. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys' opinion. In the meantime, guys, if you guys have any other recommendation, any kind of brand for mustard. Just let me know in the comment section below because I usually do read the comment section. I just have over 10,000 comments in my YouTube channel. So I cannot follow mostly all of them, but I usually do read them. In the meantime, guys, I'll see you in the next one.